The cut command is one of the more powerful shell utilities. Uh, it allows you to pull sections of text out of files. So let me switch over to the terminal. So the basic way you use cut is you could do something like cut dash C for a character and tell it which character you want to grab from each line of a file. For example, I could cut dash C three and pull the third character from each line of my bash RC, for example, and it just printed out every line of my bash RC, but it only printed character three from each line. And of course, the cut command also accepts uh, input such as, you know, I could echo hello and then pipe that into cut and again, dash C three to get the third character from that. And of course, that's just going to print the L that was the third character in that string. If I up arrow and cut dash uh, two to five, it will of course print out hello without the H for hello. And if instead of two through five, I wanted to do two and five, I could do two comma five. And now I just get E and O returned in the output. But I would say most of the time when you're using the cut command, you're not actually trying to grab the characters from a, a line, you're trying to grab a certain field from a line. So think of fields as columns, basically you think of them as words most of the time. So let's cut dash F and let's do fields two through five on my dot bash RC. And what this does is it prints fields two through five in my bash RC. But here's the problem with this. The default field delimiter or the cut command is the tab. And in my bash RC, there are no tabs. So it printed the entire bash RC because there were no tabs to delineate different fields from each other. But if I up arrow, I can specify a delimiter with dash D and I can tell it use the space as the delimiter dash F for field and grab fields two and five from each line of my bash RC. And now you can see it actually prints basically the second and fifth word from each line of my bash RC. Being able to specify the delimiter is very important because some files are separated with commas. You have comma separated value files files, CSV files. You have files that sometimes use colons as delimiters. For example, on a Linux system, the slash Etsy slash passwd file, the password file on your system uses colons to separate all the values. So let's cut dash D for delimiter and let's use the colon for the delimiter and then dash F and let's pull out specific fields from the slash Etsy slash passwd file. How about field four slash Etsy slash as WD, and I just got the fourth column from that file. That particular column looks like it was uh, either user IDs or group IDs. If I up arrow, let's uh, do the same command, except this time I'm going to do dash F four dash. And what is four dash? Well, that prints fields four onwards. So fields four and everything after four. And now we get the fourth column, the fifth column, the sixth column, yada, yada, yada. If instead I wanted fields one through four, what I could do is I could do uh, dash four and now it prints four and everything before it as well. Or I could have just written that as you know one through four as well and got the same information. And I would say 99% of the time that's how you use the cut command. You're grabbing either characters or fields and sometimes you specify a delimiter. Uh, other flags and options. There is one other flag I want to briefly mention and that is the dash s flag. And what this does, it does not print lines that don't contain the delimiter. So in this case in this command I'm going to cut dash D I'm going to set the space as a delimiter in my bash RC and then we're going to print fields one through four essentially and then dash S skip the lines that do not contain a delimiter so skip all lines that don't include a space if I hit enter you can see for one thing I don't have any empty lines in my bash RC now because they didn't get printed out because the empty line of course doesn't contain the space character so it didn't contain the delimiter so it eliminated that if I up arrow and take off the dash s and print you can see I get a lot more output including some empty lines so if you want to learn more about the cut command type man cut in the terminal to read the man page